Welcome back to Dickin' Around Outdoors. It's great to see you guys again. So the weather in Chicago has turned a bit. We got our first snow, as you can see, and we're now white. This weekend, we're supposed to get single digit temperatures. So our thoughts started to turning to cold weather food and what we like to eat when it's cold out. And we thought, of course, biscuits and gravy. Always a great choice for a hearty breakfast. So we thought, what would we do if we were making this at camp? Instead of getting multiple dishes dirty, we would make this as a casserole. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna whip up a biscuit and gravy casserole in a 10 inch lodge Dutch oven. And we're gonna have a really nice hearty breakfast. So stick around and let's show you how we do that. The first order of business when we're making biscuits and gravy is to go ahead and brown the sausage. So we're gonna give the Dutch oven a shot of Pam. And we're gonna drop the sausage in and get that browning. Now at this point, I have all of our charcoal underneath the pan. Make sure we've got a good hot pan to brown the sausage. So our sausage is browned at this point. We're gonna go ahead and take that out of the pan. We're gonna try to leave as much of the grease in the pan as we can. All right, it looks like the uh, sausage that we got wasn't the fattiest. What you want to try to do is have about two tablespoons of fat left in the pan. So we're going to go ahead and put some butter in, let that melt. And then we're going to add the flour. And oftentimes I find that biscuits and gravy has kind of a raw flour flavor. I think people just toss the flour in and then make the gravy. We're not going to do that because I don't particularly like that flavor. So what we're going to do, as the Cajuns say, is we're going to make a roux and Basically, all that means is we're going to cook the flour in the fat for just a little bit, cook out that raw flavor, and then we're going to start mixing our gravy. All right, we are going to go ahead and we're going to start incorporating the flour into the fat. I'm going to cook this, I'm going to say about three minutes. We want to make sure that we get this cooked and that we're not looking at a lot of raw flour flavor. Once we get this cooked, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the milk and we're gonna make our gravy, but we gotta make sure that we get that raw flavor out of all of this flour. We've been going for three minutes. As you can see, this has got a beautiful nut brown color. So now we're gonna start incorporating the milk and keeping in the theme that this is a camping dish that we would make, we are actually gonna use powdered milk today that we've already mixed up. So we're going to take this off the heat while we incorporate the milk. And we're just gonna stir that in slowly. We're going to try to get all the brown bits off the bottom because that is where the flavor is. And once this is going, we're going to put it back onto the heat and we're going to let that simmer. But now, having made the roux, we're going to have a beautiful gravy without that raw flour taste. So just keep incorporating and stirring. We want to smooth this out, get the lumps out of the flour. Then we'll add in our pepper and another little ingredient that I'm putting in because so often biscuits and gravy is pretty plain and boring flavored and you can always just slap in more pepper which jacks up the heat but I don't think that really adds to the flavor much so we're going to add just a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce today to this and that's going to balance out the flavors a little bit give it a little more body and really just I think amp up the flavors a little bit without becoming overpowering and making it taste like Worcestershire sauce. All right, so the milk is on. Let's stir in the tablespoon of pepper. And I do like my gravy peppery and our Worcestershire. And let's get that back over the coals. And we're gonna bring this to a simmer. And we're gonna keep stirring while we do that. All right, we have just now gotten a good simmer on the gravy. We're gonna add the sausage back in. You don't wanna simmer this too long. You don't wanna thicken it up because we are gonna cook this for 25, 30 minutes to make sure that those biscuits get cooked. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pull this off the coals. We're gonna arrange the biscuits on top of the gravy. Thank you, camera lady. So we're gonna stir the sausage into the gravy. 
We've cut the biscuits into quarters, so we have one package, I think it's 10 ounces. We're gonna just lay those on top. And the reason that they cut those into quarters, you don't have to do that, is I wanted to try to maximize the browning on the biscuits to make sure we had as much brown as we could get. So you just layer this on top. Then we're gonna set this oven up to cook at probably 375 to 400 today because it is so cold out and we do have a bit of a wind. So there, as you can see, we've got the biscuits on top. We're gonna go ahead and get this set up and we'll be right back. Dutch oven is ready to go. We've got eight coals in the bottom, 16 on top. We're gonna let this cook for 25 minutes or so. We're gonna go ahead and rotate the oven at seven minute mark. And we're gonna do that about three times while this is cooking. We just hit the 25 minute mark. And if smell is any indication, this stuff is ready to go. So let's have a look. Oh, that looks phenomenal. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take the lid off. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off of the fire and let it set for a minute or two. And then I'm gonna dish some up and see how it tastes. All right, we've let this sit for a couple minutes. Let's see how it tastes. Oh my goodness, that looks and smells fantastic. All right, the moment of truth. Let's see how we did. It still looks like it's pretty hot. Mmm. Ooh. That is really hot. I think a couple more minutes for the biscuits, but otherwise this tastes fantastic. So I would suggest maybe 27 minutes, 28 minutes. It is really cold today. So if it was a warmer day, certainly the lid would have heated up faster. But this is a great recipe. You can feed quite a crew with it. It tastes great, tastes like biscuits and gravy. I think that Worcestershire adds just a level of complexity to it. We don't have any raw flour taste to it at all. This is really good. As always, if you haven't subscribed, please take a moment to do so in the lower right hand corner. And for those of you that have subscribed, thanks for joining. It's great to see you as always. So take care and we'll see you outdoors.